to only one because in the diagonal we should have one so this is also identity matrix i1 i2 i3 similarly we can have i4 i5 also as per the case when order is clear when order means rows and columns when order is clear from the context means as per the question we have to observe that in this question we have which type of square matrix or which is the order so when order is clear from the context means from the question then we simply write it as i only we simply write it as i it not necessary to write i2 or i3 that we have to understand from the context means as per the question we have to take in general matrix a i j order n by n means square matrix is an identity matrix if a i j is equal to 1 when i is equal to j i is equal to j means a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 i is equal to j here we should have 1 only so a i j is equal to 1 when i is equal to j and a i j is equal to 0 when i not equal to j means as the remaining places we should have 0 when i not equal to j observe that a scalar matrix is an identity matrix when k is equal to 1 scalar matrix means as we have seen earlier this is scalar matrix 3 3 3 same number in the diagonal remaining places 0 here the diagonal elements if we represent by k then k k k so observe that a scalar matrix is an identity matrix when k is equal to 1 so if we take 1 1 1 then the scalar matrix will become identity matrix therefore every identity matrix is clearly a scalar matrix identity matrix can be said scalar matrix because condition is there we should have same number in the diagonal so this condition is satisfied in case of identity matrix also so identity matrix is a scalar matrix also so every identity matrix is clearly a scalar matrix but what every scalar matrix is not identity matrix every scalar matrix is not identity matrix because if we see the matrix this 3 0 0 0 3 this is scalar matrix it is not identity matrix condition 1 1 1, 1 is not satisfied so every scalar matrix is not identity matrix but every identity matrix is clearly a scalar matrix and the last type of matrix is zero matrix in zero matrix all the elements will be zero it is zero matrix and it is denoted by capital letter o so see the definition a matrix is said to be a zero matrix or null matrix zero matrix or null matrix if all its elements are zero it is not necessary to be a square matrix see in the definition it is not given that it should be a square matrix it can be any type of matrix a matrix is said to be a zero matrix or null matrix if all its elements are zero for example matrix with only one element zero or matrix with one row only zero zero or matrix zero 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 two rows two columns and if we take this type of matrix zero 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 and one row Zero zero two in second row are all zero matrices. So it is not necessary that a zero matrix should be a square matrix. Means number of rows and columns may or may not be same. Condition is all the elements should be zero. Then it is a zero matrix. A zero matrix is denoted by O capital O. Its order will be clear from the context. Means after the question, we have to see which type of matrix is there. Accordingly, we should take order of O as per the question.